Hey, what's up guys? Spencer here. Today, we're going to be going over lasso regression. Previously, we were already covered ridge regression. So in this video, we're going to be doing lasso regression, which is sort of like a follow-up. This is going to be the L1 norm. Ridge and lasso are very similar, but we're going to go more in depth into what defines the lasso and why we should use it. So let's get right down to it. In this presentation, we're going to just be summarizing why we're going to be using Lasso and how it really differs from that of Ridge. And let's get down to it. So, in slide one, uh, Lasso regression is essentially a form of regularization. It's uh, very similar to Ridge in that it actually penalizes the high coefficients uh, instead of Ridge where it penalizes the lower coefficients and it forces coefficients to be zeros, thereby taking out the uh, features within your overall model uh, compared to Ridge where it approaches zero and the coefficients of those specific features are very close to zero and those particular features are still in the model. And one of the really neat benefits of this, of using Lasso, is that it avoids multicollinearity that since um, it will be taking out uh, various features from the overall model um, that are relatively the same, it will take them out and it will then apply just one of those variables to represent all the other variables that are very similar. And so since all the copycats, so to say, will be out, actually out of the model, so there won't be any multicollinearity involved uh, with using this particular method. And one of the really ni nice, nice perks is that you can use categorical variables, quantitative variables to identify uh, whatever dependent variable that you may need. So why would we even use lasso regression over ridge regression or linear regression, for example? One of the really neat benefits of using lasso regression instead of ridge regression is that if, there, if you have so many features that you are using and so few observations, this is also another way, Lasso. Lasso is also another way of uh, modeling the complexity and works really well for feature selection uh, if your features outweigh the number of observations. So that's, that's one of the reasons why we would use Lasso over linear. But why would we use Lasso over Ridge, for instance? One of the really neat uh, perks of using Lasso instead of Ridge is that it zeroes out the coefficients uh, from the overall model, thereby taking out that specific feature from the overall model, thereby reducing the complexity and it makes the model more interpretable, interpretable than Ridge. Whereas Ridge, the coefficients of its, uh, of its um, features will slowly inch towards zero, but it won't be exactly zero, thereby still keeping the overall model intact. Whereas the lasso just adds, it just puts a zero as a coefficient for its features, taking it out. So what's the overall goal of using lasso regression? One of the main differences between lasso and ridge is that the uh, particular minimization or minimization of the cost function is slightly different. Instead of having a square term for the beta value, we're just going to have just the beta value by itself. That's pretty much the only difference between lasso and ridge. But the two main differences, I'd say, between the two functions, between the L1 and L2, where L1 is lasso and L2 is ridge, is that the L1's, uh, the L1 loss function is more robust, but it provides an unstable solution and there's potentially many, many solutions. Whereas the L2 is not very robust, it has a stable solution and it always has one solution. So I briefly went over lasso regression and what the theory is on the back end on, on, in terms of actually how to use it. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be applying the theory of lasso regression in R. So. I will see you in the next one.